Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Hard Truth. Well, today's hard truth is not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And that comes from Zechariah 4 and 1. Now remember Solomon said everything's by time and chance. Well, evidently it goes a bit deeper than that. Coburger is fighting for his life doing their best and become bigger suspects every week. And the suspect pool for who actually did the violence in these out of whole four murders just became a lot more diverse. Listen, go grab your best coffee or a nice cup of tea as we begin our story. Okay, we have a few problems here that we need to talk about with this same document that was read by the guy, the lawyer, you know. Listen, we have some problems here. First of all, uh, Koberger might get a bond because he's acting civilized. Okay, he's been over there for almost six months. By now, the pressure should be getting to him. I mean, whether he did it or not, who wants to sit in the county jail for six months, you know? Some would rather be in prison than county jail. I'm just saying. But anyway, he's acting civilized. He's talking about he's getting ready to be his own expert witness discussing the damaging effects of something. I'm not sure what he's getting ready to talk about the damaging effects of, but I want to know, is Opie getting ready to let Brian Coburg get up there and make him look like a fool from another century? I just want to know. Is he getting ready to let this go far enough to give this man a platform in his own uh, quadruple murder trial as an expert witness to himself? I mean, hmm, you feel let like Brian Kohlberger become the Jesus Christ of criminology on your turf, on your dime, behind a case you know good and well. <laughs> you know good and well. You piece that PCA together. You picked the wrong Forrest Gump. You picked the wrong uh, idiot, like the Steve Martin said, you know? You should have asked around before you picked Brian Koberger, okay? Did you see my cousin Vinny Way say, you didn't know you could ask questions, Vinny? Hey, y'all didn't know you could ask questions before <laughs> before you start <laughs> try, trying to frame people. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to make a part three because some people haven't even watched part one. They don't know what I'm talking about. And they don't realize the magnitude of expert testimony on damaging effects. I challenge you to open your Google right now and look up harmful effects, detrimental effects of, and just put .pdf and see how many studies are out there talking about the bad effects in some kind of, you know, form or fashion of the effects of something. He's getting ready to get up there and speak as an expert on a subject in criminology and show out while Opie's sitting there in the courtroom saying this guy killed four people and he's so uncivilized with it. That he did this and he did that and he did this and he did that. Okay, that's the story Opie put out. And now he's getting ready to have to sit and listen to this dude. Okay, I don't know who was sitting behind him when he came in the court with Ann Taylor in the orange and sat down. Somebody was sitting there with a shiny bald head and a nice new suit trying to be on TV behind this quadruple murderer. But whoever that was, I'll give you some advice. Please don't sit behind Brian Koberger during the trial because you get ready to get embarrassed. And if there's any more delay in this court's proceeding occasioned by your voluntary acts, we're proceeding without you. Since I have been in Dade County, I've been allowed to shake your finger at me, young man. Don't shake your finger at me, young man. But Bundy couldn't stop the testimony of three co-eds who miraculously survived his brutal fury. 